And back here in Las Vegas at ICAST with Brian Thrift again, we're looking at the uh, new Dark Angel to Mickey Rods you got going on here. Brian Thrift, uh, is that your signature series? Yeah, this is a signature series rod designed for skipping. I mean, I'm known for fishing docks, skipping jigs, just anything you're going to try to get somewhere nobody else is fishing. You're skipping down laydowns, skipping under bushes, but mostly docks, pontoon boats, and that's what this rod's been designed for. You can t- see it's a signature series. It's got my name on it. It's got the skipping on it. It's a 6.9 rod. It comes in a medium heavy and a heavy action. And just I like the heavy action anytime I'm going to be fishing something a half ounce or heavier. But what a lot of people don't realize in a good skipping rod is people get to thinking about jig fishing. They want, oh, you got to have a seven and a half foot flipping stick, something with some power. That is the total opposite of what you want in a skipping rod. Skipping rod, you want something short you can handle, and you've got to have a tip on it. You've got to have that soft tip that when you load the cast up, it's going to load up and really slingshot that bait under the dock. If you've got a stiff tip, a stiff tip on a rod, it doesn't skip near as well. That's the key that a lot of people had not figured out yet on skipping, and that's what this rod's designed for. And I'm sure you also designed it to handle the uh, appropriate size line. What kind of line are you going to If we go out here and just start skipping, skipping dots here in the summertime, what kind, what material, what weight, what kind of line are you going to use? I use trialing fluorocarbon, 100% trialing fluorocarbon. And as a general rule, if I'm throwing a half-ounce jig, I'm going to be using 20-pound line because the bigger line handles the bigger baits better. And when you start dropping the size of your, the weight of your baits, you want to go to a lighter line. Like if I go to a quarter or three-eighths ounce jig, I'm going to drop down to 15 or 17-pound line. And just that, the smaller diameter really lets it come off the reel and skip better with that lighter weight where you can still really. And then that's where the rod tip is what I'm talking about. I mean, if you try to skip a quarter-ounce bait on a seven-foot heavy action rod, you you can't do nothing with it. Backlash City. Backlash City. You take a short rod that's got a good fast tip on it, that's got some bend you can load up, you can skip it just like a half-ounce bait. Killer deal, killer deal. Those are the awesome-looking rods. And, and can you give us an idea of the price point on these? I think these range from 169 to 179, and which that's probably on the low end scale of what a lot of rods are nowadays. For that quality, yes. For this quality of a rod, I mean that's not an outrageous price, and it's, I mean, it really speaks for itself. I mean, it's a rod that's specifically designed for skipping. Nobody's came out with anything like that yet.